Yo, it's Carol. I'm here with Chris, with Kat. 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 And Catherine's <laughs> wonderful mother. Uh -huh. And what the heck are we doing, everyone? We're going to the city of love. We're going to Chicago! <laughs> and we are at McDonald's. Too far from the window. It's time to get out. Ooh. Do you know what their theme was? Made it through security. Yay. Wow. We are going to chill until it's time for our flight in about 40 minutes. Yay. And Chris and I will write some midterm essays that are due tonight at midnight. Yay. Yay. First steps in Chicago. <laughs> Escalator in Chicago. In Chicago! Chicago! It's cold. We just saw our first show. Cat! Go! We just saw our first show. What was it called, Christopher? Uh, Bible Bingo. Bible Bingo. Woo! It was an interactive comedy one woman show by a Baylor Theater alum. We also won some goodies at the show. Some won very a Catholic prizes. The greatest store in the universe. What do you think they sell at the greatest store in the universe, Christopher? <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. This place is also really cool. There's a lot of white. I'm just a clue. In Chicago! <laughs> it's so pretty outside. On our way to go get some fried chicken. Maybe Christmas means a little bit more than chocolates. Update. Hey, Chris. <laughs> we just saw our third show at Steppenwolf Bug by the wonderful playwright Tracy Letts. Got to experience some full frontal nudity. <laughs> Carrie and, uh, Coon was in it, and Carrie Coon has been in the movie Gone Girl and played Ben Affleck's <laughs> sister. And, and she was in Avengers Infinity War. And she's Tracy Letts' wife. Also, she was fantastic. Now we are on our way to go get some deep dish pizza. At Illuminati. <laughs> Say that again? Illuminati. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Deep dish bazooki. <laughs> we are now on our way to the Goodman for a show. <laughs> the premiere of what is it called? Well, the Chicago premiere of um, School Girls. Yes, yes, School Girls, otherwise known as. I forgot the <laughs> That's why I asked you because I didn't I wasn't sure either. And we're walking and it's cold, but we have on coats that we got a goodwill. brunch at a place called Tweet with a Baylor Theater alum, Garrett Williams, who's fabulous and does improv. And then after that, we will probably go to the clinic because something's wrong with my tonsil. But it's gonna be a great day. At the clinic. <laughs> Carolyn's tonsil is swollen with many colors. It's like a rainbow of black and red and maybe purple oh. and a little bit of orange. A rainbow. Yeah, <laughs> of like blood and like bruisey colors. The rift shopping in Chicago. We just purchased the sweater, now you know. This is post clinic trip. I do in fact have confirmed tonsillitis. We are testing for some other things as well and we'll get the results later. But also I was just told that maybe it'll go away on its own. That's reassuring in some ways. In some ways not. And now we're gonna go to more thrift shops and buy more used clothes and fun things. Bye. We're going to the candy store. It's the candy store. <gasps> I 
do you want to ride that? Go ahead. <laughs> Get in there, Caroline. Go. We're home. What? They must. I just spent $11 on candy. I'm very happy. They have gummy fried eggs. Uh -huh. <gasps> but Chris, you need those. Chris, total eclipse of the fart. Yeah. <laughs> just had my whole finger for this. Strutting in Chicago. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. They try to embarrass me. Who tried to embarrass it's you? It's me. Hey, turn it <laughs> off, turn it off. I told you. <laughs> this is the pizza that, that we just ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Two scale for comparison. Can't wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> This is, that's, yeah. We should hold that up to the monster size. That is not the same. You too. I'll say. I'm pissed. That is not the size. Wait, maybe it's got two. Chris oh, has two. Okay, I'm sorry. We oh. might have spoke too soon. They split it. Did they split it for us? Maybe they there, did. I think there's two in here. If there's not, I'm, it's gonna be this from me. We'll let y'all know. I love onions. <laughs> the hell is going on? I'm scraping off the millions of onions. They've <laughs> 1 a.m. in Chicago. Did we get two slices? <laughs> the real reveal. Oh, good. I see it. I see it. Two pieces. Thank God. Okay, I'm really happy with both. I want, it, I want both of them, but I want this one more because it would be best. If I could have, okay, if I could have ordered any pizza, I would have ordered this. So you want this one? The zipper from my jacket just fell off. We are on our way to go see our friend Kelsey at Northwestern, and she will give us a tour of the campus. Bah, bah, bah. Can we go in the water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On campus. Chris somehow knows this person that we just found at Northwestern. What are the odds? <laughs> there she is. Should I run? She's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at the quality of these doors. Are you kidding me? Um, okay. Deep dish number two. <laughs> That's not how I thought it was gonna be. It's still beautiful, but it was just kind of like blip, blip. The gross stuff on my left tonsil has now spread to my right tonsil. <gasps> Bless you. Cat, don't fly away. Here we are. The improv show was pretty awesome. Yeah. The stand-up was a, a strong... It was a hit-miss. A strong hit 80, 20, 80 being bad, 20 being good. <laughs> One person really, literally got up there and called all of the people in the audience fat. fat. Excuse us? Yeah. The host got up there at the end and just said, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. The man. container store? Guys, I've always wanted to go to the... I love containers. Chris got me these socks because I'm scrappy. Here we are at Millennium Park. We got a late start to our day because I, like the head ass that I am, left my wallet on the bus and never found it. <laughs> now our fingers are crossed that some really kind person turned it into lost and found. But I do wanna say that while I was in the process of almost crying after getting off the bus and realizing what happened, a woman saw me and immediately asked if I needed money and pulled a $20 bill some woman that saw me because a guy like saw me. I was looking frantically at my phone to see if I could see where the bus was going next like checking the map the guy was like are you lost and I was like well I left my wallet and this woman heard and she immediately grabbed her money and said her wallet and said do you need money and pulled out oh a $20 bill and I was like no but yeah, thank you because it's so sweet just... shout out to that woman who was so kind and literally didn't know me or ask any questions except for do you need money and pulled a $20 bill out also I got medication for my weird form of strep but now we're 
at the park. Just in the bean. Took us to a beautiful <laughs> garden. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god! That's cute. We can take photos there. We're going to see Caitlin's dress rehearsal of a show that she directed with the theater company that I previously mentioned during my last trip to Chicago, Theater La Cadie, and she directed the two-character play. Backstage at Theater La Cadie. We're on stage, actually. What are we doing so spontaneously? We're gonna go eat at Cheesy's Pub and Grub. We were Everybody. on the bus and then Kat pointed out this place and then we just hopped off very spontaneously. That's the most spontaneous thing you've ever seen you do, Chris. <laughs> 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 Kat, that's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done. Yeah, we're talking about all the time. I what are you talking about? Decision. We had an itinerary down to the minute. We did, <laughs> down to the minute. But today got a little confused. Sorry! Oh. I still haven't found my wallet! This actually really is one of the first places I ever ate in Chicago where I was like, holy crap. <laughs> this is my Skittles shake, everyone. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> rabbit. It's a rabbit season. It's a rabbit It's just a bee that reincarnated. Cats. Friend graciously let us stay in our place for a few days. Now we're going to stay in an Airbnb for one night and have a whole home to ourselves. This is cute. A secret door in an Airbnb. Oh my god. God, I'm literally scared. It's a lab! <laughs> okay, it turns out that our Airbnb homeowner is home and Chris just opened his bedroom door and we just heard an old man's voice go, hello. <laughs> It is the morning of our last day on the trip and I've just called the last and found of the CTA system and they have my wallet. God bless the stranger. They found my wallet. Did they really? They did. Yeah. At a very strange and far away building and I just got my wallet back and everything is inside of it. <laughs> Miss Vicky's ain't got nothing on crunchers. <laughs> We're saying goodbye to our Airbnb. Goodbye. This time Caroline's gonna keep her wallet on hand. It's true. Ready? Go. Wow, wow. Speed of light. Speed of light. Let <laughs> <laughs> the plane. About to go home. We have landed. <laughs> Back in the States, we were already in the States. Does anyone have any concluding thoughts they would like to say about our Chicago visit? Chicago. <laughs> Perfect. Catherine. And I went to move it. Now, big thank you actually to all of the people that housed us and met with us for brunch and lunch and dinner and gave us cough tickets to shows. This concludes our Chicago vlog. If you made it this far, thanks for tuning in. Bye.